Well, how would you like to talk about sluice? I'm sure that sluice is something that's been on your mind a lot. Anyway, that is the July 2023 Senior Loan Officer Opinion Survey on Bank Lending Practices, sluice. Basically, banks are tight and getting tighter. That's what the report says. If that's all you needed to know, then that's, you can check off. You, see you later. Anyway, but there is a single ray of hope in the Fed survey. And I'll get to that single ray of hope later on in the discussion, because that's where they put it in the report. Anyway, uh, banks are not going to be much help in getting this economy going again. And of course, that's exactly what the Fed wants. This is Randy Kirk. And if this kind of information is useful to you, I believe it's useful to understand what the banks are doing in terms of lending. That helps us to understand things like what's going to happen with Tesla loan, car loans. You know, will they be easier for people to get? Will the interest rates come down, et cetera? So that's why I want to report on this, in addition to the general economy and how that will affect the stock market generally. Uh, hit like if you like it and hit subscribe, hit notify. I am starting to line up. Uh, I got multiple uh, folks, Larry Goldberg coming on later this week. I think Wednesday, uh, I got Renee coming back with an incredibly interesting, I can't believe how interesting this is in terms of the commitment level of investors. Really super interesting stuff. That'll probably be uh, Thursday or Friday. Uh, et cetera. We'll have more and more of that stuff coming up later this week. And then, of course, you know the new deal. If you buy the book, I'm sorry, if you join if you join Patreon uh, at the $5 level, you get one free audio book. If you join Patreon at the $10 level, you get two. And if you join Patreon at the $50 level, you get an autographed copy of the hardback edition of the Elon Musk mission. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. Let's go here and take a look at what the details are. Oh yeah, by the way, I will also be having the productivity report later this week. You know, you know, you don't get the transportation report, the productivity report, or the sluice anywhere else. Okay, nobody else is gonna be reporting on this. I believe these things are critical. Uh, you know I talk about the bond, the 10-year bonds, the two, the inversion, uh, oil, et cetera, every single day, because I think those things are important. Uh, the, the trueflation numbers, now, you know, if you're in the stock market, if you're in Tesla long term, five years, 10 years, you're never going to sell. You're not going to get in and out. You're not going to buy any other stocks. Well, you know, none of this is probably that interesting, except, yeah, it is. We always like to watch the stats, don't we? <laughs> Whether it's baseball or football or auto racing. I mean, we like the stats. OK, so here's uh, here's here's what they got to say. The Fed. So let's talk about sluice. The Fed does a survey of all of the major and a huge chunk of what they call the other banks. Okay, so you've got these top banks and then you've got the other banks. The survey is published uh, about six, it can be published up to, up to six times a year. Recently, it's been pu pu published roughly quarterly, but there's no guarantee. They just decide when they're going to do it. Uh, it's, you know, might continue to be quarterly. It might be six times. They decide when it, they think it's necessary to bring it out. So what do they got to say? Well, regarding loans to businesses, survey respondent, respondents reported, on balance, tighter standards and weaker demand for commercial and industrial loans to firms of all sizes compared to the second quarter. That's compared to the second quarter, which was already tighter and already less demand. Meanwhile, banks are reporting tighter standards and weaker demand for all commercial real estate loan categories also. This is going to start to sound redundant. For loans to households, banks reported that lending standards tightened across all categories of residential real estate loans, especially for residential real estate loans other than government-sponsored enterprise, GSE-eligible, and government loans. Meanwhile, demand weakened for all, like I said, it just starts to be over and over again, demand weakened for all these types of loans. In addition, banks reported tighter standards and weaker demand for home equity lines of credit, HELOCs, Further standards tighten for all consumer loan categories, demand weakened for auto, et cetera, and basically remained unchanged for credit card loans. So people are still about average, just about the same as it was last quarter. They're looking for credit card loans, but they're, the numbers have dropped in terms of auto loans, in terms of real estate, in terms of business across the board. Everybody has lowered the number of loan applications that they're putting in, the, the requirements that they have, and Part of that would probably be due to the high interest rates, but also to greater restrictions. So you're not as likely to get the loan. So then the banks were asked, 
about the reasons for tightening standards on terms during the second quarter. And the most frequently cited reason was less favorable or more uncertain economic outlook. Okay, yeah, that makes total sense. Major net shares of banks also reported a reduced tolerance for risk, deterioration in their liquidity positions, worsening industry-specific problems, increased concerns about the effects of legislative changes, supervisory actions, or changes in accounting standards, including decreased liquidity in the secondary market for loans. These are all reasons for their tightening standards. I mean, that's a pretty much of a laundry list of the entire panoply of reasons that they might have. So they've already got decreased tolerance. So they're saying, hey, we're just not as interested in loaning money in this risky economy anyway. Then they're saying that they don't have as much money. Their liquidity is worse. They have specific banking industry issues regard, with regard to regulations, et cetera. So that's impacting it. And then they've got uh, the secondary market is not providing them with as much availability either where they can pass off the loans that they've made to the secondary market. So if you can't, you if you buy those real estate loans or those car loans, and then you want to bundle them and sell them off to a secondary market, the secondary market is not as available as it normally is. Of the banks reporting weaker demand for C&I, the uh, commercial and industrial loans, major net shares cited decreased customer investment in plant and equipment. Let's stop there. Okay, so that is what I was telling you last week when we were talking about uh, you know, people be not as interested in efficiency these last about 18 months. Why weren't they interested in efficiency? Because they were just going flat out trying to find product. They were flat out trying to find transportation methods. They were going flat out trying to find employees. They were so concentrated on putting out fires and just keeping business alive. They didn't have time to be thinking about how they might become more product productive. This I expect to change. It may not even show up in the next quarter of the sluice report, but at some point, companies are going to start wanting to, I believe it's now that things have calmed down. Yes, there's still not enough labor compared to the number of jobs, but it's way better than it was a year and a half ago. So I, and, 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 and pro, the product is now available. The transportation is readily available. So those kinds of issues are no longer bothering companies. What they need to do now is they need to get efficient. They need to raise their productivity. I would expect plant and equipment will be the next category that's going to get a big bump in terms of these bank loans. There's also decreased inventory financing needs. So yeah, companies are going lean and mean on their inventories. So the, the, they're, they're not going to want to borrow against uh, inventory as much. There's decreased merger and acquisition financing needs. Have you seen any merger and acquisition going on? No, there's nothing happening out there. And decreased accounts receivable financing. But that is actually, I said there was no light in, there was only one piece of light later. This is another piece of light. The fact that companies are not going after accounts receivable financing would indicate that at least for now, the money is still flowing through the system. I did mention in a video the other day that I heard from one of my clients that they were saying they were having more trouble collecting right now. But that's one data point. This would indicate maybe not, maybe money's still flowing in the system. Regarding terms for auto loans, a significant net share of banks reported increased spreads over their cost of funds. That's good news for them. While moderate net shares of banks reported tightening the extent to which loans are granted to some customers who do not meet credit scoring thresholds, and that therefore they're increasing the minimum percentage of balances required to be repaid each month and increasing the minimum required credit scores. So they're reducing the loan uh, uh, timing. If you, you know, if you would normally give a five-year or six-year, they want it to be a four-year. Uh, they're looking for higher scores, et cetera, et cetera, all kinds of ways of tightening. This, of course, impacts Tesla when people are going out into the market attempting to borrow money on what generally is a more expensive vehicle. On balance, banks reported ex expecting to tighten lending standards further across all loan categories over the remainder of 2023. The net shares of banks expecting to tighten declined a little bit relative to those in the April 2023 survey. In other words, they are, the, on balance, most of the banks are saying they will tighten even more in the next quarter. But at the beginning of the previous quarter, 
even more said they were going to tighten this past just past quarter or the quarter that we're finishing up today. So that's a slight, you know, uh, a, a slight, slight piece of good news. Not that great, but it's at least lightening up a little bit. The most cited reason for expecting to tighten lending standards were a less favorable or more uncertain economic outlook and expected deterioration in collateral values. Okay, so in other words, equipment, inventory, receivables, uh, buildings, uh, real estate, etc., all reducing in value. So if the inventory has been sitting around too long, it reduces in value. If the real, we know about commercial real estate, in particular office real estate, reducing in value. Rentals are flat, are to barely up. So even residential real estate could be reducing in value, the, the, the kind that is uh, available for residential uh, uh, renting. Um, and then you've got, uh, 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 you know, uh, accounts receivable. If it is getting older, then it becomes less valuable. So in other words, all these assets in this kind of market could be becoming worth less. And that, therefore, that would be another reason why they expect to uh, provide fewer loans. And then an and, and expected deterioration in credit, credit quality would also be another issue. Additionally, major net shares of banks also cited an, an expected reduction in risk tolerance. So their risk tolerance is even going to get less and an expected deterioration in their liquidity position, which they noted as a big problem. And then increased concerns about funding costs and deposit outflows. That's with the probably more with the regional banks who have had problems with uh, people taking their money out of the bank and putting them into the mar money markets. Companies are pretty flush with cash right now. And so they're tending to put them in these strong bonds. You know, why wouldn't you put it in money markets at five and a half, six percent? So the banks are having to raise their uh, what they're willing to pay on CDs and other short term uh, uh, instruments in order to get people to put their money back into the banks. There's also increased concerns about the effects of legislation supervisory issues with regard to how the Fed and is supervising the banks, and of course the states as well, or accounting changes as re these are all reasons for expected further tightening. So what was the good news? Oh yeah, that they're not going to be as tight. <laughs> they're not going to tighten as much as they tightened this quarter. So they're slightly loosening up with regard to the number of banks that think that they're going to tighten. So that was the slight good news that was in this report. All right. If you have questions or comments, by the way, your questions and comments this morning on the show this morning were incredible. I'm going to do a show probably later today. Yeah, almost certainly later today where I'm going to deal with your questions and comments from this morning's show. And maybe you'll have some great comments for this show as well. Throw them in really quick. Even put in stuff that has nothing to do with this particular uh, episode. Maybe you've got questions of me personally. Uh, one person wanted to know, said I was selling too much. I don't know. Am I selling too much? Oh, Buy the book, buy the book. Oh, you don't have to buy the book anymore. Just join Patreon and you get a free audio book for a $5 membership and a two free for a $10 membership. And if you really want to go for it, hit the $50 a month deal and you get a free signed copy of the Elon Musk mission, all of which, all of that stuff goes to help support the channel. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit notify. I think you're going to see some of the most amazing interviews ever this week, in particular, the one with Renee. But Larry Goldberg's promising me something really, really big. I know that uh, that uh, uh, Brian Wong is working on a couple of things. So uh, could be some really big deals later this week. Okay, that's it. That's what I got for you right now. So now you know a lot more about Sluice. Let me know if you ever heard of Sluice. Put that in the comments. Have you ever heard of Sluice before this report today? Okay, it's been great talking to you.